so good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and today's episode we are going to design a beautiful political flyer or an election flyer yes we are in ghana and we are in an election season so therefore let's take advantage as i said i designed this flyer about two months ago I, I don't even remember the exact date that i designed it but um, i posted it on my social media somewhere and then people were like liking commenting and then we were requesting for tutorials so guys there is the need for us to do something like this it's been a long time that i designed an election or political flyer yes it's been a long time it's been a long time it's been very very long time and if i may remember i think this is the last election flyer we created on our channel and it's about three months ago it's too much too much too much then therefore let's take advantage of this election season to design this beautiful flyer for mrs professor jina na opoku ajman the running mate for the ndc john dramani mahama his excellency the former president john dramani mahama his running so without wasting much time control and to open a new document and okay so this is how it comes so i'll just type the name um, um elections flyer elections flyer and then i will set it here to maybe 2000 by 2000 and then the resolution should be 300 it's going to be social media and also click on okay and then you have this nice with me like this so guys we'll start first of all working with the background so i'll go to this side and then go and pick my rectangle to and draw a beautiful rectangle like this and choose color green yes i'll choose color green from here and i think this is awesome i'll choose color green from here and this is awesome so i'll control t to select it and hold alt and then no 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 hold shift and then drag this side this way hold control rather and then push this side yes control rather and push this side inside like this guys i think this is awesome and then hold control again and push this side here and i think we have something like this it's okay it's okay so press enter and then control j to duplicate it and then the one beneath the one beneath let's push it down let's push it down double click at this side and then we are going to pick color red we are going to pick color red here yes, something red like this and this is awesome okay so the color red we are going to double click here and then give it this hex code d 0 b 27 d 0 b 27 that is it and then we we'll push it down like this use the arrow key to push it down like this and i think it's okay Control t to select it and then tilt it this way yeah let's tilt it this way and then scale it up like this guys uh scale it up like this and then push it to this side and i think it's awesome now it's awesome now it's awesome now it's awesome now so this and then let's go and work on one more background i think where you do this drag it into photoshop and then you release it nicely hold um shift and then scale this side here and scale this side to here awesome and then push it up push it up it should be above the green good 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 it's above the green okay once it's above the green then let's set it to the blending option to linear light where are you linear light linear light and guys this is awesome this is awesome press enter and then put everything in a group and then control j to call it background so we have our background nicely done like this so the next thing is that we are going to work with text so let me go to view guide and then new guide layout and then we set our guys guys we set our guys we're going to make sure that it doesn't exceed this 
and this everything will fall in between this 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 and this these four boxes it's gonna fall in between so the next thing we are going to do is text okay so the text this is set um it's it's just the national team secretariat press enter control a to select it at the center it this way the national team secretariat and i use a font called Montserrat. yes Montserrat bold control j to duplicate it and use the arrow key to bring it down and then double click it and then write in collaboration with in collaboration with good and then we are going to use the same the change here to this good and i think let's change here to 10 awesome awesome control a and then center it this way control d to deselect it i think 10 is too small so let's make it 12 and 12 is okay 12 is okay let's push here to maybe 100 and see good good control a to center it again good and then in collaboration with then let's come and drag this drag this like this the bono east regional blah, 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 blah. so let's write it so bone bono or you can change it to greater accra greater accra regional office regional head office good control a then we center it nice like this control d to deselect it control it to hide the guys and then let's see it clearly so let's push this and then push this push this and this is awesome 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 this and uh, that control j control j and then call it head H guys i think head 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 okay so the head must come down a bit therefore we need to introduce the logo we need to introduce a logo so go to the resources file and then i have this logo nicely drag it into photoshop and then press enter right click it and then convert rasterize type go to w on the keyboard then hit here and press delete then you delete the white background being on the keyboard and then control t again let's scale it down a bit push it up and then we are going to give it a white background yes you are going to give it a white background let's give a white background yeah so uh, you pick a white over here and then you push the logo above on just center and align it guys you know what to do you know what to do and then write the name write the name so national democratic congress so national national democratic congress national democratic congress good so check it like that okay so it's checked like this and let's open here let's open here let's open here let's open here and choose maybe extra bold extra bold can be good maybe if you don't prefer extra bold you can get back and change it to your preferred size let's open here a bit let's open here a bit i think it's okay so this and that control j and call it logo all right so the logo is said control it to bring the guide guys you see that everything is in, in it so let's bring the head down good 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 see on the keyboard again hit here and then we are going to write our present so present is set nicely like that present is set okay so we are going to check the font and see which font did we use i'm sure we use something like um, this and then we are going to 
put all here cast off and that is it that is it that is exactly what we use that is exactly what we use let's change it to maybe 50 and see awesome 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 push it at the center you see the reason why we brought the guys just to make sure that everything is at the center everything is at the center that is why we brought our guides okay so that is set successfully and then t again on the keyboard and hit here and then present outdooring d o o r i n g outdooring of then press enter and we are going to choose a font i'm going to choose a font i gave it this font yes i gave it this font control d to select it scale it up like this our during of then then on the keyboard guys you know how to do it already you know it you know it so just don't be like um, you don't know because you have been with me for so many years or for so many times now and you know how we do our things so our during of then the names all D on the keyboard and then let's write Jane Jane press enter and then come and choose this font this particular font is what they have been using for their name it's called Pacifico it's called Pacifico that is what they use for their name both His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Jane Nano Bukwajima this is the font they have been using to write their name so if you see the jane you may think that it's a logo that they have created but rather it's not a logo it's a font they have used to write their name so t again on the keyboard and hit here and write nana -na. so nana -na. opoku ajimai all right and then let's use maybe Montserrat font for it let's use Montserrat font for it and then here to caps and then let's see i think regular is okay so t and then reduce the size reduce the size drastically and push it to the side push it to the side and let's see if still we have to reduce the size to be something a little to be something a little then we pick a rectangle too and draw a nice rectangle like this let's draw a nice rectangle like this awesome 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 and we give it color white let's give it color white and then the name should go up and then let's give the name i think if color green or match then let's center and align with it and see center and align good guys and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so this let's reduce the size a bit let's reduce the size a bit and push it closer to the gene yeah yeah let's push it closer let's push it closer and then you come here a bit good this is awesome guys this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and then let's see if we can put all these things oh okay this and that becomes the name good and then this and this becomes outdooring the outdooring so you see it all right all right all right so let's go and import the image let's go and import them so we use this image drag it into photoshop and then release it nicely like this position it at this side press enter right click it okay let's move it to this side right click it and then come the rasterize type go to properties panels and then go remove background and then within a seconds photoshop will remove the background for you quickly okay so photoshop is done removing the background within just few seconds like 20 25 seconds photoshop is done removing the background so thank you to the theme we didn't do much work on it so this comes here let's see if we can reduce the size of the image and see because it's covering part of the outdooring 
is covering part of the outdooring of and I think this is okay. This okay, this okay, this okay, this okay, this okay. So I think the red, some of the red too must come down a bit. Yeah, some of the red must come down a bit. And then we need to still scale it up, push it up. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the red, the red, red. Sorry, green rather, green rather, green rather. So we should go up a bit like this. And this is awesome. 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 This is awesome, guys. So the red too must come down a bit like this. Good, 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 good. This is exactly what you want. This is exactly what you want. Then let's look at the name. The name. Let's see if we can push it here because he said nothing will be extended to a different size. Yes. So let's obey that rule. And then once you are done, so let's put this also in a group and call it image. So this is the image. Okay. So which is the professor Jinana Opoku Ajima, guys. So. And then the next thing we brought is we drew a beautiful rectangle beneath the image. Yeah, a beautiful rectangle beneath the image. Okay, so we draw a beautiful rectangle beneath the image, something like this. And then we pick this. That was color red, I'm sure. Yes, that was color red. And then just put it beneath the image drag the image up let's drag the image up like this good 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 and then what did you wrote root time and um, sorry date and maybe we are going to write 14 um no 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 check here to 100 percent and then hit here yeah, and then let's write maybe today's date so we are using today for the tutorial so let's use today's date let's use today's date we are using today's date to record the tutorials therefore let's use today's date today's date is 8th august 8th august august and then press enter and then check it like this then you center and align. Press center and align this and that together. Control D to deselect it. And then let's change the font to Montserrat. Guys, let's change it to Montserrat. Montserrat will be perfect. All caps and turn here to black or bold, something like that. It's okay. Let's push it to this side because. Yeah, push it to this side and it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Awesome. Good, 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 good. So drag this beneath it and then control it, put them in a group and then call it what? Date. Maybe in case you have time and other things, you can add them to it. But control G to duplicate all these things and bring it beneath this like this. Beneath it like this. And then we are going to push this side to to a bit like this because we said nothing will be extended okay so the venue we brought let's bring the actual venue which is the upsa auditorium auditorium okay 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 and let's see if we can change here okay maybe this is awesome for now let's use our arrow key to push it to the side yeah let's use our arrow key to push it to this side and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so we have a location icon let's go and bring it inside drag it into photoshop like this and then we change the color to that of white change the color to that of white yeah change the color let's zoom it a bit and then let's move ctrl t to select it and then change the color to white nicely like this and push it this side drag it down 
because it's red that's why you are not seeing it clear so let's double click the side and change the color to white good 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 this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so this and that becomes the venue oh sorry 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 so this yes this becomes the location or the venue yeah good good so let's zoom it out and this is awesome this is awesome already this is awesome already when we are done we are not done yet we did something we did something we did something and let's go and do it let's go and do it so quickly we have to go to the background again we brought some image into the background which was blending or something like a fading and in the background so drag this in photoshop and then release it nicely it down sets like this and then push it at the center like this then right click it rasterize type go here and then remove background guys remove background okay so once the background is removed maybe let's go here add layer max sorry let's go here add layer mask first and then be on the keyboard to activate the brush tool be on the keyboard hit here sorry hit here and then be on the keyboard to activate the brush tool and clear some part like this away and then go to the blending option and set it to i think soft light or so soft light or so and i think this is awesome and then we change here to 20 percent yeah 20 percent that's awesome that's awesome okay so linear dodge that is awesome and you realize that it's inside but it's some way fading but if you look at it carefully you realize that the image is in there then you close the group and then let's come back to the main one then come and drag this and then drop it in photoshop and then good 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 I want to let's set a blending option for it and we set a blending option to something very awesome something very awesome something very awesome let's test it and see so let's test it to maybe i think hard light where are you hard light hard light hard light hard light where are you uh, hard light hard light uh, okay i think we'll set the blending option to soft light rather and then add this side be on the keyboard and then scale this things up and come and hit here good yeah let's hit here to also select part of the image because we don't want that to cover all the image and guys that i think this is getting awesome this is getting awesome this is getting awesome so once you are done control or shift and e and match everything in one layer and then convert to smart objects move to filter camera raw filter and let's boost it up let's boost it up let's boost it up entirely to make it look very very realistic yeah very very realistic so please subscribe to this channel like and share i have a lot of content and please we are issuing a disclaimer that this is not being let's say endorsement of any political party in ghana but this is for tutorial purpose only in case you have a project for a political party or somebody uh, a politician and you are to design something for him or her and you have no idea about how to go about then please this tutorial is for you just to guide you and know what to do or how to go about it so please yes this is not an endorsement to any political party but rather is for educational purpose only so please subscribe to this channel like and share i have a lot of content in which i'll be sharing them with you in the comments, it's up this flyers for both the MPP and NDC and all the political parties. I'll be uploading them one after the other so that in case you want you get a client or you get an opportunity to design something for 
them, you have an idea on how to go about. So be boosting all the camera roll photos and totally you see this is the before and this is the after I realize that it look awesome, it look awesome. So once we are okay, you click on okay like this and then the effect will be applied onto the whole design. It will be applied. Now you see it clearly. Very, very awesome. Very, very awesome. Let's see the before again and this is the after. So please guys, this is how I was able to achieve an awesome election flyer or political party flyer like this in Photoshop. So please, if this seems to be interesting to you, please then give me the like, comment and share. Please, your like and your comment is very, very important. It's very, very crucial when it comes to YouTube and other social media handles because the likes and comments help YouTube to promote our channel to other people as well. So please, Subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment, and let me know how you see this flyer. I have that of all the most of the politicians, most of the MPs, most of the flag bearers, and other things. I'll be uploading them one after the other. I love you. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye. Peace.